What's up you guys? So today is Saturday, March 9th and today is my wash day for my hair. I always wash my hair or like take care of my hair on the weekends whether it's Saturday or Sunday but I'm choosing today because your girl got places to be later on. Folks are trying to see me. I'm tired of wearing my hair in this hairstyle. Usually this is like my last resort type hairstyle when I know I need to wash my hair, but I don't have time to do it that day, but I still wanna look presentable. That's when I put my hair in like a bun or whatever. It's looking a little bit messy at the moment because I just woke up. I know I look a hot mess because I literally just woke up and I wanna do this before I get in the shower. I'm gonna show you guys how I steam my hair because I don't actually own like a legit hair steaming machine. And I do remember like maybe two years ago or maybe like a year ago, I was on the hunt for like a good hair steaming type machine. The one that I really wanted, I think it was on Amazon, but it was like kind of expensive. And I was just like, mm, I don't know if I want to pay that much for something that I may or may not be consistent with, if that makes sense. And two, it's just like, I didn't feel like doing that. <laughs> so basically, the other day, I was on browsing the Lemon 8 app, and I ran across this girl's post. Basically, she was just showing, like, her hair care routine. Because at that point, like, I was in the process of, like, trying to find new hair products that would work better for my curls. And I seen in her post, she mentioned how, like, she steams her hair, like, once a week. And she's like, if you don't have a hair steamer, you can use... A clothing steamer which is what I'm going to be using or if you have a facial steaming machine which I do have that as well but if you have a facial steamer you can use that as well to steam your hair and like when she said that it's like a light bulb like went off in my head I'm like I why did I not think about that earlier like you could steam with anything as long as it's producing steam if that makes sense so I don't need to get like the most advanced hair steaming machine in the world like as long as you have a clothing steamer or just like a facial steamer machine that you already have at home then you're straight so that's what i'm going to do today like basically i'm going to show you guys what i do right before i actually like wash my hair so this is like the preparation phase if that makes sense so let's go ahead and get into it in my hair i already have the myel rosemary mint strengthening hair conditioner in my hair right now because whenever I wear my hair slicked back like this instead of using gel because I know like gel can sometimes be harsh and too like I just be having a lot of buildup by like wash day if that makes sense but I'm trying to extend the hairstyle so yeah normally I just put this hair mask all over my hair and I didn't put the oil in my hair this time but I'm gonna put it in my hair um, for the steaming process. I also have the um, Mayo Rosemary, what is it? The Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Strengthening Oil. And yeah, I just put that all in my scalp before I steam my hair. And I do go ahead and just put a little bit more conditioner in my hair before steaming it, just to give it that extra like juiciness and stuff that I want. So let's go ahead and get into it so i'm gonna i'm about to take my hair down yeah let's go ahead and get into it because it is already like 12 11 and i still need to go to ulta and get my eyebrow pencil and this other third okay so this is how my hair is now and here i'm gonna use my spray bottle just to spray my hair damp a little bit before applying the hair mask you don't need to do the most just because i mean you're about to steam your hair so it's gonna get wet anyways but still i'll be wanting at least a little bit of something something and this spray bottle sprays out a pretty fine mist so the only thing i hate about this spray bottle which i think is on my bad but i dropped it so like sometimes when i'm like spraying it for a long time it starts to leak which is why I have my towel. But anyway, let's go ahead and put in the hair mask. 
And I'm only going to do, like I said, a little bit because I already have a lot of this hair mask in my hair anyways from um, the day before yesterday. Because I've been wearing this slick back hairstyle for like probably almost, this is like day three of the slick back hairstyle. Again, it doesn't look like a lot, but like I said, I already have a lot of this in my hair. And once I start steaming my hair, my hair will have a little bit more slick. And I feel like this um, deep condition or hair mask is gonna really like just sink into my hair. Cause right now it's still kind of like sitting on top, but it's okay. And I'm gonna put it on my edges too. Yeah, too, with my edges, like, I know, if okay, like, if you guys have been watching my videos for, like, years, then you'll know, like, at a certain point, I used to, like, do my edges like that all the time, but now I don't do that all the time. I only do it basically for the hairstyle that I just had earlier, and when I do it like that, that's normally when my hair is deep conditioning anyways, so I don't feel like I'm gonna have as much breakage on my hairline compared to like if I do it with like freshly washed hair if that makes sense and doing it every day I don't do it every day so so now I'm gonna take the my hair oil and just drop this like all in my scalp pretty much and I do kind of put this oil like on my ends as well but mainly focusing on the scalp I do like this hair oil, but let me know if y'all have like any other recommendations for like hair oils. Like something that I can get from either the beauty supply store or like Target and Walmart. I don't want to, like basically I don't want to have to like order it online because y'all be impatient. <laughs> I'm the type that wants it right now. <laughs> But that's a bad thing. Patience is key. So, I feel like I put a lot of oil in that time. I don't know why I put that much oil in. But yeah, I'm just going to massage it in for a quick second. Just so it's kind of like even. So now my hair is prepped to go ahead and start steaming. So here I'm going to go ahead and plug in this steamer. Um, what steamer company is this? I don't know. Okay, I know I ordered this off of Amazon, so I'm gonna find the link and like include it for you guys in the description bar just in case if you, you're interested in buying this particular steamer. I will say the only thing about this steamer, let me see. Oh, see, so you can't do that, so. My intrusive thoughts, like, one, just then. <laughs> Basically, with this hair steamer, you, you do have to be careful when it comes to, like, leaning it forward too much. Like, you don't want to be pouring this stuff on you, that makes sense. Because it's, like, hot boiling water, so don't do that. So, yeah, definitely be careful. If anything, I'll just be kind of, like, leaning my head into the steamer. But, yeah, so... There was nothing. So yeah, I'm gonna wait for this to boil and we shall get to steaming our hair. Now I want to say real quick, y'all, um, whenever I steam my hair, I usually steam my hair for like 10 minutes or pretty much until like all the water runs out of here. So whichever comes first, but I don't feel the need to like steam my hair too much. Cause it's like once I get in the shower, the shower steam is still going to produce extra steam. So, and normally when I'm steaming my hair, I like to play music. So, today is Saturday morning. Well, actually, no, it's Saturday afternoon. It's 12.18. So, I've been playing this. I'm so late to this song, y'all. But I did not know Drake released this, like, Search and Rescue song. And it's been on repeat.
Alrighty guys, so I literally just finished steaming my hair. I pretty much waited again for this thing to run out of water. I mean, it's a little bit left, but it got weaker at a certain point. But yeah, I will say the one thing about the clothing steamer, and probably all steamers that you need to be careful of, is just making sure that you don't, first of all, you don't spill the water on you by like holding this, like you're about to pour it. Don't do that. And also too, don't hold it too, too close to your scalp because I mean, this is a clothing steamer, so it's gonna produce hot steam. So you just need to be careful. But yeah, you just wanna be careful, but overall, it's still a very easy process. I like steaming my hair this way and everything. So yeah, I'm about to go ahead and hop in the shower, you guys. And I did wanna show you guys the shampoo and conditioner that I use. And pretty much I just use the Pantene Curl Perfection line. This is the shampoo. It says it has zero parabens, colorants, and no harsh stripping. It says it on both of these, so the shampoo and conditioner. The shampoo says hardworking, long-lasting, Pro Perfection Pro B formula cleanses wavy and curly hair to remove buildup and prime strands for optimal curl definition. And they have protected antioxidants, pro vitamin B5, and pH balancers. It's good for color treated hair and chemically treated hair. And I'm pretty sure the, sh the conditioner says the same thing. Well, this one says hardworking, long lasting, curl perfection, pro V formula visibly transforms frizzy hair into hydrated, defined waves and curls. And I would definitely agree with this statement, y'all. I've already used this shampoo and conditioner line, I think twice now. So like today would be my third time. But I noticed a significant difference with, with using these two shampoos as opposed to using Aussie shampoo and an OGX conditioner. First of all, those two like companies, like they don't even go together. And second off, I, I just, I wasn't really reading the ingredients and stuff when I was purchasing those particular products. And I will say ingredients do matter. I see this says zero parabens, but it does still have sulfate in it. Both the shampoo and conditioner still has sulfate. That's the only thing that I'm like, mm, I hate that it has that, but it does honestly do a really good job at like keeping my hair super hydrated and clean and just feeling so good so i do really like this pantene curl perfection line but if anything i may still look for another shampoo and conditioner line that has no parabens and sulfates that's like a brand that i'm like familiar with so which honestly i would just need to go to the beauty supply store but yeah i'm about to go ahead and hop in the shower now so i can wash my hair get it taken care of so I can get out the house and run these errands y'all hey y'all so real quick I just wanted to show you guys how my hair looks now that it's like completely dry after washing it and doing the steaming and stuff and I feel like it looks really good my curls are like super defined and they're so soft to you guys like that shampoo and conditioner along with like steaming my hair with the Miel um, hair mask in their rosemary oil definitely makes a huge difference in just the way my hair looks the way the final result is it also too like I feel like my curls stay curlier like more defined longer compared to like other shampoos and conditioners that I used in the past because the Pantene curl perfection I feel like it does help with keeping your curls defined way longer compared to like some of the other shampoos and conditioners that I use because before it was like my hair would look good like the first day and then like after like I would say day two like my hair would start to look dry and stuff and that's even with me like wrapping my hair at night and stuff but with the Pantene it's like some days I don't wrap my hair when I go to sleep. Like I'll just go straight to sleep and my curls still look like, well, I mean, of course it's gonna look kind of messy, but as far as like how it feels, it still feels very moisturized. So yeah, so this that's pretty much kind of like my new hair routine at the moment. Hopefully you guys enjoy watching me steam my hair and kind of show you guys my pre like me prepping my hair for shampoo and conditioning and if you guys want to see more 
videos of me doing my hair and this, that, and the third, then definitely comment down below. And, but yes, anyways, hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!